Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you, Maurice? I'm fine. You're fine. Yeah. So I'm yeah. okay. I'm okay. Um, I think that um, you know, I I I feel like I'm getting sick, right, with a flu, but I hope to not get sick, right? But I'm okay. So what about your day? How was it? Good, so so relaxing, really busy, interesting. Really busy. Very yeah, busy. Really busy. Yes, right. Today is Thursday, so we are almost finishing the week. Maybe that's why, yeah. right? It was yeah, really busy. Okay, so good evening, Pablo. Good evening, Tony. So how are you, Tony? How are you, Pablo? Good. Very, very fine. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. Okay, perfect. Be, will be better. Yes, thank you. All right, guys. So we are going to start with today's class. Well, today we have different things that we are going to cover. Okay, so we are going to start with the warm up. Then we are going to move to grammar, and we are going to study um, used to. Okay, I think that some of you already know that topic, but we are going to make a review. We also have pronunciation. Then we have listening quizzes, we have grammar quizzes and reading quizzes too, okay? And of course, the speaking time. To begin with, we have the following, okay? Sentence error correction. So guys, which is the mistake on the first sentence? What is the mistake right here? We have, they change often our seats at work. So what is the mistake, which is the mistake on, on this sentence? Uh -huh. They often change our seat at work. Very good. So the mistake is the position of the adverb of frequency. Excellent. Thank you, Pablo. So it should be they often change our seats at work. Perfect. What about number two? What is the mistake? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Maybe. Uh -huh. Maybe some. Maybe some. Okay, why some? Uh, yeah, which is going to be the correct way? Maybe any. Excellent, okay, very good. So the mistake was some, okay, but why? Um, guys, um, I don't know if you knew this, but in this case, whenever we use some and any, some is just for positive sentences and any is for questions and negative sentences. So we should say, do we have any coffee or tea to offer our guests? And if we say, do we have some coffee? It is incorrect, okay? Because with the question, we should say, do we have any? Do you have any credit card that you want to use? Do you have any different schedule? No, some, never. Always any for questions, okay? What about number three? What is the mistake? Um, queen. Okay, why win? And, excellent. Okay, so I don't know how much money my co workers earned, or I don't know how much money my co workers make. Okay, uh -huh. what about number four? What is the mistake on number four? Would? Would? Okay. Mm, not exactly. Everyone. 
Everyone, I wish everyone would leave me in peace. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not exactly, Aleida. Mm -hmm. Another opinion, guys. Maybe we we'll... Maybe would. Mm, well, that is correct. Uh -huh. mm, Maybe anybody yeah. by everyone. I wish everybody would live me in peace. I mean, anybody or Ever anybody. Or anybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, guys, whenever we want to say this, like, um, this idea in Spanish, right? This is like saying, desearía que todos me dejaran en paz. Oh, teacher is the order. I would wish. No. Oh, not exactly. Um. No. The mistake here, guys, is um in peace because in peace is when you say está dead long mm, okay mm? Oh. alone yeah alone. excellent alone okay <laughs> all right <laughs> yes okay <laughs> all right so what about the last this, one it's only by the terminal way okay correct uh-huh Yes. This is for el descanso eterno. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. So, what about number five? What is the mistake on number five? Listen to. Excellent. Mm -hmm. It will be listen to your mother, right? The two. Mm -hmm. Listen to your mother and do what she tells you to do. Very good, okay, excellent. Okay, guys, now let's move, okay, let's move to the following. So we are going to start by talking about pronunciation. And today we are going to focus only in the, um, on the ED ending sounds, okay? That is going to be like the main focus about pronunciation. And in this case, guys, let's see, ED ending sounds. Um, Carlos Omar, can you please help us reading this information? In the ending sound, we add a D to regular verbs to form the past and the past participle, second and third form. We use the past form in simple past sentences. Okay. To talk about the past, we use the past participle in present perfect. And past in past perfect sentence. In passive, in passive sentence and also as adjectives. As you can see, ID is quite an important element of English grammar since, since it can express several different meanings. Yes, guys. So in this case, the ED ending sounds, you know already that we use the ED for regular verbs. Yeah, and also for the past participle of regular verbs, right? Hmm. So then basically that's the information that we have right there. And now let's talk about the rules because we have different rules whenever we want to um, focus on the pronunciation, okay? So we have three sounds that we can have at the end of the, of the verb, right? For regular verbs, when it comes to simple past or past participle, yeah? For regular verbs. Then the first sound is like t, like the letter T. Then we also have the letter D and we have ID, yes? Um, but in this case, it is very important that you know the rule because sometimes Mm, you have some doubts and you can make a mistake, right? For example, it says that if the verb base ends in a voiceless sound, then the ed ending sounds like t, 
light. Yes, light. So in this case, what are those verbs that end in voiceless sound, voiceless consonants? Are the verbs that when you pronounce them in the base form, they sound, they have the letter P, F, K, S, S, H, C, H, G, H, C, and X. Look at this, look at the example. Yes, so we have the base form, base form, yeah? And then the regular verb is with ED. Its base form is with the letter K, work, regular simple pass, ED. So it sounds like work. Yeah, because it is right here. Voiceless consonants, the ending. Look at this. Yeah. So then we also have SH, finish. Then ED, finished. Yeah, not finish it, finished. Yes. So you need to pay attention. When usted vea un verbo en ED, you need to pay attention. Remuevalo. Visualmente, all right? So, remueve la ED y vea en qué termina. So, in that way, you are going to learn. It. Yeah? It is going to be difficult at the beginning because we need to learn those rules by heart, right? You need to learn them. But it's the only way how you are going to pronounce verbs in the correct way at the beginning, of course, right? Then you are going to do it automatically. Yeah? So, then we have a stop. Stopped. Watch. Watched. Park. Heart. Fix. Fixed. Loft. Loft. Yeah, it is here. G H. Mm -hmm. A sniff. Sniffed. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this is very important for you to learn how to pronounce ED correctly. Then we also have, if the verb base ends in a voiced sound, then the ED ending sounds like D, like a D, right? So voiced consonants are B, G, V, uh, G again, the, uh, a mistake, Z, L, M, N, R, S, N, Z. Mm -hmm. Look at this, but it's whenever you pronounce the verb. Yeah, because look at this. Move. In base form, we do not say move, right? This must move. So the sound uh, ends in the letter V. So move, ED moved, moved. At the end guys, it sounds similar to the letter T, but it's not letter T, it's letter D. Moved, moved, yeah. Then we also have end, returned. Not return it, no move it, returned. Yeah, then we also have letter S, yeah? So we have kissed, 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 yes? We also have cold, cold, yeah? We have this one, which is damaged, damaged, yeah? Because the base form, the sound goes still G, damage. We do not say damage, right? We say damage. So damaged, amazed, amazed. Claim, claimed. Rav, rubbed. Yeah, so look at that. We have B, G, V, all of them. But we need to pay attention to the base form, to the base, not just the ED, also the base form. 
Then we also have if the verb base ends in a T or this uh, sound already, then the ED ending sound like ED. And those are really um, easy for you to learn because it is a short list, it's not a long list. For example, the start, started, want, wanted, visit, visited, attend, attended, date, dated, decide, because the sound goes till the letter D, decide, right? So it is decided. And ended, need, needed, hate, hated. Mm -hmm. Because the, the last consonant is going to be T or D. You see? So in this case, you need to learn those by heart. Those are really, um, it is not like a long list, it's short. So most of them are the ones that you can see right here. Of course, the ones that we have with voiceless and voiced sounds, yes, there are many verbs, many. But for the T or D, no, it is not that um, much, right? They are just a couple. So basically, this is going to be like the, the rules that we need to keep in mind. Yeah, do you have questions? Do you have doubts? Is there something that, that is not clear that you would like to ask? Mm -hmm. No? Teacher. Yes? Uh, why in, in someone's world, uh, uh, ¿cómo se dice? llevan doble, doble letra? Example, mm -hmm. stu. Mm -hmm. Well, there is a rule. There is a rule in the English language that whenever we have, in this case, consonant, all right, consonant, vowel, and consonant, like we have the final um, words, right, the final letters in this case, like T O P, we need to double. It is, mm, I mean, it is a rule, right? Um, that's why we also have, for example, swim, right? It is the same thing. Swim, we need to uh, double, right? The letter M. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it is just because they end in consonant, vowel, and consonant. Just because of that. Solamente por eso hay una regla de algunos uh, verbos, right? That, that uh, we have la consonante, vocal y consonante al final, y se tiene que double. But it's a rule. Okay. It is a rule. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very good question. Okay. So, um, any other question that you may have? No? Okay, so now let's move, okay? Um, well, I have one question, guys. Um, what, okay, I'm going to ask somebody, okay? Um, Emerson, can you please let us know what is a sniff? Sniff. No? Okay. Somebody else? No, teacher. I, um, I don't know. Don't worry. It's okay. So what is a sniff? It is like a smell with the oh. nose. Yes. It is a smell, right? It is a smell, like olfatear. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of rub? Rub. Here, the last one. Yeah. Rub. What is it? Rub in the noun is como hule, but in the in the verb, I don't know. Okay, rub is is very common. You know this this verb 
it is whenever you, usted frota. Cuando le ponen al carro, por ejemplo, rubber. Uh -huh. Pasta para los tratos. But that is, that is the noun. Untar. Verb es frotar. Ah, ok. Ok, frotar. 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 You rub your hands, right? Whenever you are probably washing your hands, you need to, to rub with the soap, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, what is the meaning of amaze? Uh, amazed, uh, I think that is like a surprise. Surprised, yes. Yes. Very good. Okay, guys. Well, um, in this case, um, be careful just with the endings, right? But in present, yes. And you need to adapt those to past. I mean, yes. But let's see. Let's make a, a practice right now. Okay, so we need to decide if these verbs, yeah, uh, they go with a T, D, or I, D, the sound, okay? So let's see, we have the first one already, explored, okay, explored. What about number two? Okay, T, D, letter D? Yes. Missed. All right. What about number three? Listen. It is going to go with I. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What about number four? Wash. Wash. Letter T. Letter T. Wash. Wash. Yes. What about number five? Load. Letter D. Letter D. Load. Six. Wait. It. 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 Yes, okay, ID, yes. What about seven? Relax, D. Relax, oh, seven? Listen, listen, I don't know. <laughs> Come on, okay, listen. With, with, with listen, yes. With listen. D. With D. 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 Letter D. Yes. Eight. Relax. Letter D. No, mm -hmm. it's T. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's letter T. Yes, because it's X, right? Mm -hmm. What about design? ID. ID. Yes. What about number 10? This desire. Ah, 10. Sorry. Yeah, 10. Discord. Letter D. Letter D, very good, because R, discovered, right? What about 11? ID. ID, okay. ID, ID sorry. Yes. Uh -huh. What about number 12? Letter D. Letter T. Letter Right? Cough. Cough. Mm -hmm. What is that? Mm, like to ser. Cough. Okay. Yes. Uh, 13. Stop it. Stop. Letter D. Stop. Mm, are you sure? Stop. Stop it. Stop it. No. It's Stop. with Stop. T. Letter T. T. Letter T. T, right? Yes. Okay. Stop. Oh. Stop. Mm -hmm. I stopped. 14. Andy. 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 Yes. ID. What about 15? Killed. 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 What about 17? ID. ID. Shouted. 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 Uh -huh. 18. Shout. Shout. Uh, like gel. Seven. Yes. Yeah. Like what? 
gritar, gritar. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Scream. Yes, Pero, correct. Sí. Scream, yell, shout. Uh, 19. Uh, sí. Uh, at. Uh, at. At. Very good. At. You see? Uh -huh. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Any question? No? Okay. Let's move. Right? Let's move and let's move to this. I need two volunteers to read the first paragraph, uh, one and the other one, the second paragraph. Aye. Okay, Aleida, you go with the first one and the second paragraph. Awesome. Me, teacher. Thank you. Okay. We Abby, <laughs> not Aleida. Oh, who, who said me? Abby or mm. Aleida? Abby. Okay, Abigail, go. One autumn every evening, mm -hmm. Charles and Beth went to the weather. They attended a play. The play started at seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. Charles and Beth enjoyed the Dither. Peter. Dither. Peter. Peter. Dither. After after the play, Charles and Beth walked together in the park. They walked be beside be, uh -huh, beside the lake. The moon was bright. They walked about their future when Charles and Beth went home. Their children were not asleep. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. They, they waited for Charles and Beth to return. They were they were excited to hear about the theater. Charles mm -hmm. told the children about the play. Then Beth put the children to bed. Charles and Beth were very tired. It was a good, a good night. Thank you. Okay, very good, guys. Well done with the verbs, okay? Perfect. Now, let's see. This one is going to be evening, okay? Whenever we, we say it, um, it's like eve, evening, oh, like this. Uh, yes, Tony, tell me. If... Yeah, the, the, um, when you provide us the, the example, the previous example, yes. in the table, it doesn't appear in the letters with Y, con la Y. And, and then, uh, uh, en la Y me quedé, mm, enjoyed. Pero, ¿Y la Y a cuál de las tres reglas aplico? Enjoyed, with the letter mm -hmm. D. 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 Oh, okay. D. D. Yes. Okay. With the letter D. Yeah. Maybe it's, an, it's a, a letter that uh, it was duplicated because the G is, is, is two times and the C is two times two. Maybe mm -hmm. it's, it's the reason. The G is by the G, y, by the Y. And I don't know. Something more is, is, is fault. In this, okay, but I got an example. Yes. Why is with D? Okay. Correct, with the letter D. Uh -huh. The name is Charles or Charles? Very good, Charles. Charles, okay. Yes, Charles. Okay, guys. So this one um is evening, okay? Evening, evening. And this one is going to be theater. Remember that the TH, sometimes it sounds like, like a D or, a, I mean, you need to make the sound, right? Um, you need to, the TH has two sounds, okay? So this one is going to be theater, theater. Theater, yeah, is, uh -huh. theater is like a cinema. Yes. Mm -hmm. Teatro. Yeah, como okay. teatro. Theater, theater. Yes, um, el teatro. In this case, Theater guys, um, with the th, eh, Abigail is going to be. You need to put your tongue right between your 
upper teeth and your lower teeth. Tiene que poner la lengua en medio para hacer el sonido de la TH. So, tiene Peter. que sacar la lengua. Yeah. Sí. Theater. Así se Theater. 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 Así. Theater o Theater. No, así como lo dijo la primera vez. Theater. Correcto. Mm -hmm. So, the pronunciation, ok, of the TH. Pronunciation. Ok, perfect. Then I need uh, three volunteers. One to read the first paragraph, then the other one to read the second one, and the last one. Me teacher. Me teacher. Ok, thank you. So, I think that second. Carlos, yes, you are the first one. Roberto, you are the second one. And I laid, I think, that this time, yes. Yeah. The last one. Yeah. Okay. 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 One winter evening, one winter evening, Lucy and Charles went to the theater. They wanted, they want to watch Anna and play called Romeo and, and Juliet. The play starts at 80 theaters. Lucy and Charles started at 8 theaters. 30? 30 p.m. Mm -hmm. Lucy and Charles enjoyed the play. It was a low story and it was beautiful. After the play, the play, they walked, walked together in the park. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Robert. The moon shined uh, and they looked at the stars. They stopped for a moment to sit uh, on a bench. They will, They talked uh, about the future. Lucy said she wanted uh, to live by the sea. Charles mm -hmm. said she liked uh, the mountain better. They agreed to think about it later when Lucy and Charles went home. Their children were not asleep. Asleep. Mm -hmm. They were excited to hear about their parents' evening. Charles told the children about the play and the children went to bed. Charles mm -hmm. and Lucy were very tired and went to bed too. They had a lot of fun this evening. Thank you. Very good, guys. Um, all right. So do you have any question right now? It's wanting. Wanted. Wanted. Yeah, I mean, it could be wanted or you can say wanted. <clears throat> one one id yeah without t without t one mm -hmm. it could okay. be either or right it depends on your decision i mean both are correct mm -hmm. um okay guys uh something that probably i need to mention is this you know sometimes we also have adjectives that they end in ed right we have adjectives so they follow the same rule as verbs. Excited. Excited. Tired. Excited. Mm -hmm. So tired. excited. Tired. Uh -huh. They follow the, the rules that we have with the verbs. The same rule. Mm -hmm. For you to remember as well, right? Um, all right, guys. Tired. Very good. Excellent. Excited, tired. Uh -huh. And lock it, or how would you pronounce lock? Uh, lock? Oh, looked. Look with T. With T. Look. Okay, looked. Teacher. Ese tiene que ser fuerte. I mean, when you are like, I would say this, okay, when we are like learning to speak English and all of that, in this case, yes, you should make like the emphasis. But then, I mean, it is going to come just naturally, right? So, okay. the beginning, yes. When I, I, I watch a, any program series movie, they speak, they talk. Uh, I can mm -hmm. say, I the, can recognize the the, 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 the sound in power, the sound because they 
they they pronounce uh, normally for 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 them I, I think but for for uh, people like like us it's difficult yes yes i know recognize yeah. the, the, this 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 thing no? yes it is difficult right and uh most of the time they speak and they actually make the sound but we do not like hear but they do make the sound some of them right because some others probably they don't follow the rules right but yes as we are learning how to make the correct pronunciation yes at the beginning you need to make it like really clear right you need to be like emphasizing each of the verbs but then i mean there is no problem if you do not emphasize the pronunciation as long as you do not say all of the verbs like call it enjoy it walk it look it shine it yeah that's why we are learning the rules in order for us to avoid that mistake right mm -hmm. yes Tony. what is shining uh, uh, okay shined as a verb is brillar so, brillar yeah the moon shined right la luna brilla mm -hmm. when they say the moon brings Mm, I think that is the moon bright. Bright, sorry. What is... Yeah, it is a synonym as well of shine. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very okay. good. Okay, sorry. I think uh, por un momento pensé que era como de timid or shine. Oh, no. Shy is S H Y. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. All right. Tony? Teacher, and, and the pronunciation with E D, uh, I. I observe, I hear that you omit supreme the letter E. In in all the cases necessary to supreme to, to delete the sound of the letter E, or some verbs need needed need, need, uh, need. the letter E. Mm. Like look. Uh, oh supreme look. The, the letter E. So, yes. Oh uh, yes, and when and in the case when you go uh, finishing I D, uh, you don't need the letter E, but uh -huh. in the others words, yes, uh -huh. because of of the of the rule, right? So uh -huh. Right, uh -huh. because of that, we eliminate the letter E and we use add uh, the letter T, right? Uh -huh. And on the pronunciation. Uh -huh. Okay, and in the next uh, rule with the letter D, you remove to the letter E or don't remove? Yes, move. you remove it. Okay. Yes. And then all the time we need to eliminate the letter E. Yes. Okay. okay. And Roberto. Uh, yes, sure. I, I, have, I only uh, have uh, a question about a meaning, for example, what is the difference of a sniff uh, or a smell? A sniff and a smell. Okay, so I mean, a smell, we can, both are interchangeably. Both of them are interchangeably. The only thing is that a smell, we can use it whenever we are talking about the five senses, but both are interchangeably. But the most common one, whenever you uh, smell something, right? Um, it's like you uh, smell it because it's in the air. I would say it. But when you uh, smell, if, uh -huh, you uh, smell because the, the, the smell is just in the air, right? But now when you uh, sniff something, it's because you do it on purpose. Okay, it's like uh, I smell the somebody is cooking you smell that yes correct mm -hmm. okay if, if if i say i sniff the food yes but a sniff is always like something um i would say negative you sniff something because it makes you like uh like i, I don't know maybe it has a negative impact on you 
right? I, I yeah. sniff the fuel in my car. Okay. Yes. You okay. can say it like that. So a sniff is something negative and a smell could be something positive. Uh, one is oler, right? And the other one is just olfatear. You do it on purpose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. It's a sound effect. <laughs> but yeah, something like that, right? Okay. Yes. For example, teacher, <laughs> the dogs, the dogs sniff, right? Yes. Because yeah, they sniff. Uh -huh. And when we smell the the maybe a perfume. Because there we are not a sniffing, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. It's, it's, the, it's the same thing when the with the animals only can say a sniff or we we a use sniff. a sniff yes. or a smell. It, the, we never use a smell when the the dog rest, no, say, están mm, algo. Yes, no, they are sniffing. Okay. They sniff. Yes, in that case, Aleida, as you explain it, that's the way. A sniff is really a specific because you do it on purpose. Lo hace a propósito. You, usted olfatea algo, right? And a smell is just something general. Usted huele algo, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. So dogs, a sniff. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Any other doubt? No, right now? Okay, so now guys, let's move and let's take one of the quizzes that we have for today, which is about a uh, pronunciation, okay? And writing about simple past, okay? So there you go. And the passcode this time is going to be English 2023, like that. Okay, so take that quiz. And let me know so we can move to the second activity. For the ones that are on the spreadsheet is the pronunciation practice and writing. That one, pronunciation practice and writing. Teacher, I cannot uh, log in. Mm, let me see. Mm, let me double check something. Go again. Reload the page. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay.
Okay, I got a Leida, Carlos, Eduardo. Let me see. I have zero. <laughs> Let me see. No, I like. Okay, I got Luis, Raul, Roberto, okay, Sandra, Abigail, Tatiana. Mm, okay. Mm. Um, Jose, okay. Tony, okay. Um, let me see. Okay. Um, yes, I can see that we need to work probably on spelling, on the spelling, okay. I can see that some of you fail because of the spelling. Let me see. Emerson. Mm -hmm. Was it difficult? Mm, maybe not, teacher. The thing is, in my case, my mm -hmm. mistakes, my mistakes were because <laughs> I don't remember all the irregular verbs. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, it's because of that, right? Because sometimes we don't use them, so we forget. Yes. Okay, guys. So, well, well, I hope, right, uh, what we have covered today um, for pronunciation helps. Yeah, because it's really important that, um, that you don't forget the rules. Yeah, that you need to be careful with that. All right, so now let's move to the following. E the endings, exercises, the last ones, okay? Number one, uh, who can uh, read number one? Emerson, read number one and give us the ending sound for the verb highlighted, yeah. The river flew it and everyone had to leave their homes. Okay, is it T, D or I, D? Letter T. Okay, so now look at the verb, right? Emerson, look at the verb. We need to remove, para saber cuál es la pronunciación, tenemos que eliminar en nuestra mente el ED, en qué letra termina. Letter D. Letter D. So let's go back, letter D. Which of these rules? The second one. The second one? Mm, look at this, B, G, V, G, Z, L, M, N, R, S, Z. Do we have letter D? No. Okay. It is? Number three. Very good, so? The root. Okay, then? How do you pronounce this verb? As letter ID. ID, which is floated. 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 Uh -huh. Yes, like that. Okay. Uh -huh. Perfect. Okay. So it is going to be this one. Okay. What about number two? Um, Luis? Mm. Yes. She cracked the head into. So span to make an omelet. Okay. Mm -hmm. I T crack T T. Okay. Yes. Know. Yes, crack. because uh huh. If we remove, okay. If we remove e D. K, right? And if we go back, where is K? The first, the first the one. Fir, the first one, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like works. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Okay, what about number three? Um, can you please help us with number three, Carla? Okay. <laughs> uh, he remembered to buy a present for her birthday. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, I think it's ED. <laughs> Remember? Okay, let's let's no. ED. Uh huh. Con D. La... With the letter D. Okay. Letter <laughs> D. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Carla. Okay. What about number four, Roberto Esau? Remember. Uh, yes. Uh, he he pressed the button to make the elevator come down. Then got inside. Uh -huh. I think that is with, with letter D. Letter D. Okay. So which is the correct pronunciation? Uh, Present. He pressed. pressed. Okay. He pressed or he pressed. Ah, uh, he pressed. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pressed. Yeah. Okay. Number five. Um. Oh, Robert. Okay. Uh, the package included a flight accommodation and airport transfers. Is with uh, ID. ID. Thank you, Tony. Number six. Sorry, it wasn't me. Okay, don't worry. They explored the city in the okay. day and had a relaxing meal in the evening with mm -hmm. D. Very good. Explored right. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Number seven, Tony. I think that you're on mute. Sorry, oh, teacher. Don't worry, okay. He, yeah. he explained that mm -hmm. she was late because of traffic with D2. Excellent, yes. Very good, okay, guys? Who can tell us number eight? Mm -hmm. He mentioned yeah. the room to find out how much carpet they will need. Mm -hmm. Letter D. Letter measured. D. Measured. Excellent. Number nine. She planned a landscape picture used mainly blue and green color. Letter D. Yeah, ID. Mm -hmm. And the last one, number 10. The joke was so funny that when he laughed, mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm, tears came out of his eyes. 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 Letter? T. T. Excellent. Very good. Tony. In the previous yes. exam, Yes. Uh, we had we had a uh, um, we had um, question that say continue, Con but continue. I was confused because you talk about the consonant, you know about the vocals, um, and we continue. My brain think about and my conclusion is with the continue. Continue. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Yes, continued. continued. Yeah. And in the vocals, is the same. All, all, all the the ending are with with D. Mm, with the vowels. Mm, uh -huh. The vowels. Um. Let me see. Here, continue. Yes, because of the vibration. With the vowels, the mm -hmm. yes, continue. Mm -hmm. Yes, a, B, C, D. Okay, mm -hmm. all have a vibration in my mouth. Yes, throat. okay, mm -hmm. and then is with D. Okay, with Thank D. You. Perfect. Okay, I, I have a question too. Yes, um, in the first and second case, we have the letter S first in the both. Um, in the vote those or the exam no and um in the rules and in, in the um 
in the uh, okay okay let me go back here yes okay in the in the first case in second case we have letter s oh right here yes, yes. very good why do we have letter s here and why do we have letter s here Why do you think? I think that in some cases the L'Oreal S sounds like a voice lace. Voice lace. So in another case is like a voice sound. Perfect. Okay. In some cases, okay, in some cases the letter S sound like letter S. But most of the time, okay, most of the time it sounds like in this case, letter Z, it has vibration. So since it is voiced, we are going to use the sound. Okay. For example, teacher. In this case, for example, uh, one of them is keys used, but now and one that doesn't end with the Z, it is going to be pass. Like the pasar. Pass. That one is voiceless. That means that does not have vibration. No tiene vibración. Yes. Entonces, como no te diga pass. 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 Y toque se. No hay pass. vibración. Ahora digamos keys. Keys. But in this case, we need to study the sounds as well, okay? That we are going to do it, okay? Lo vamos a hacer también, con la letra S. It is wrong when we, we pronounce it kiss. I mean, it's not like um, run, because at the end, if you, I mean, if I say kiss, right? Or kiss, you, you hear the same. But in order for us to maybe make the difference, and if we want to study phonetics, phonology in this case, yes, it's really important. But um, if we are not studying like phonology, so it's not like uh, we need to go deeply, right? However, we need to know that there are some verbs which are voiceless and voiced, as Roberto said. And one of them is going to be pass, pass. Kiss, kissed. Mm -hmm. yeah. There is maybe a list. To, <laughs> maybe to understand better the the first box. Yeah. Um, if you say kiss with one S and uh, well, the the um, words with one S and words with double S. Okay. In this case, with double S, it makes more sense to have a vibration in the throat. Okay. Mm, yes, we can say it that is related to that. However, we cannot like follow just that rule because used is one of those that is just one S, right? Used and it has vibration. But um, we can say it uh -huh, whenever we have two S, right? So we can say that it makes the sound of Z because it's stronger than just one S. Right, but not at the same time because we have used and we also have pass. That pass goes with double S. Mm -hmm. We use so, more stronger and then. Yes, but there are some verbs, a specific, right? A specific verbs that they have the vibration as a Z. And there are the other ones that just is right? So, but there is a list. I will try to get it for you, okay? So you can go ahead and have the idea on which ones are with S and which ones are with Z sound. So you can uh, probably understand that rule better, right? But yes, that is uh, that is why um, we have like the S and S on both like charts, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, very good, thank you. Any other question that you may have? But I will send that list. I will try to get it for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Any other doubt? Not right now? Okay. So let's move. Okay, let's move, guys. And now what we are going to do is that we are going to take the reading quiz. Okay. So let's open the, the link. So the link is the one that says reading quiz. If you are on the spreadsheet, it's the one that says reading quiz. Let me send it to you. There you go. And the passcode is going to be reading. Okay. Let me see. Yes. All right. So this time, what we are going to do is that you are going to read the, the paragraph here on my screen. You will see just the questions right there, but you will see the paragraph right here. Yeah. So let's start. There you go. It's a long paragraph. Yes, but it's really interesting. You will see. Teacher. Yes. And the, the word mm -hmm. ma, mas lead se tiene que decir. Masks. Eh, como with that mas is mas. Masle. Mas. Oh, masless. 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 Max ma perdón masless less. less. Maskless. Okay. or not so people have fewer opportunities to smile and many people depend
Okay, thank you, Aleida. Teacher, number seven. Yes. A small coach has trained more than 4,000 small, small special. In the progress, they say she has coached more than 4,000 people in the art of the smile. Yes. I, I chose the answer is true. But in the test because is wow. four thousand people in art of the smile, and she has also trained hundreds of smile specialists. Um, mm -hmm. uh, ah, okay, okay. Okay, are you all done? Or no jet, let me see. Okay, okay. Uh, let me see your scores, okay? Give me one sec. Um, um, okay. All right, guys. Okay, let's move. Okay, let's move. Do you have any question? Well, this reading was kind of interesting, right? Let's read it, okay? Um, who wants to read? Who wants to read? Nobody? Um, okay, so Luis, okay, yeah, help us. People now trying to have a special way out in the in the pond. Many people are still covering up. So I think that we can barely hear you. Go again, Luis. Solo estaba escuchando los audios. Who have a grown mass less or who want to are talking listen in how to smile. A lot of adults say they have a for cutting mm -hmm. how to smile naturally after three years of wearing a face covering. They are taking lessons from smile coaches to relearn how mm -hmm. to smile with the confidence. One, one coach, Keiko Kawano, <laughs> from yes. the Smiley Education Company spoke to Asahi Shimbun newspaper about the, her work. She said, mask wearing because became normal so people had fewer, fewer opportunities to smile. Many people develop a complex about smiling. I want people to smile in for their cycle and mental well-being. Okay. Well being. Yeah. As, as smile coaches in Japan may be busy for some time to come, a reason should be by LIBOR research found <laughs> that tengo una laguna mental con los 27. 27.8% of the company the employees, their 20s to 50s 50 will continue to wear masks. Mm -hmm. Just over two thirds of the people say they, they will wear a mask depending on the situation. On the 5.5% say mm -hmm. they will go mask free. Mr. Miss mm -hmm. Kawano is well known in Japan. She she has coached more than four thousand people in the art of smiling. She mm -hmm. has also trained, trained hundreds. 
hundred of smile specialists, he say smiling make a good impression on other and helps communication. It also had the effect of masking, ma, pardon, effect Thank of you. making yourself feel more positive. She mm -hmm. had moving she added. Relaxing. She added moving and relaxing the facial muscle in the kit key to a good smile. Yes. Okay. Imagine. Yeah. Everybody yes, is, is sad. <laughs> I mean, yes, yes, a lot of adults. It's interesting. They have forgotten. They had forgotten how to smile, right? Imagine. Well, I think that maybe, right? I don't know. But <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. Let's move. Let's continue. Okay. Let's continue. So uh, let's move to the speaking time. So guys, we are going to start with uh, simple past questions, okay? Those are questions for you to practice simple past. If you realize that your uh, classmate is making a mistake, okay, please try to correct your classmate, okay? Because that is very important, okay? Um, but first I'm going to take the attendance, yeah? I'm going to take the attendance right now. So here we go. Um, Give me one second. Yes. Okay. Aleida Esmeralda Maya Escobar. Here, teacher. Thank you. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Atilio. Carlos Omar Linares Cañas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Cla Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Díaz. Carlos Vladimir, Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Thank you. Jonathan Jose González Domínguez. Present. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elias Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Thank you. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Celaya. Present teacher. Thank you, Kenia. Luis Miguel Corbera Enríquez. Pre present teacher. Thank you. Marian Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Maurice. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade Garcia. Present. Thank you. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán Miranda. Present. Thank you. Roberto Esaú Celaya Argumedo. Present. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Present. Thank you. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramirez Guevara. Okay. And Present teacher. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Wilbur Jonathan Bautista Aguilar. Okay. Perfect, guys. So let's move and let's start with the speaking practice. Okay. Open the, the class, please. And let me just make available the sharing screen. Okay. Yes.
Hello. <laughs> okay, Carla. I was moving you, but you, yes, you moved. Okay, let me, let me move you, okay? Give me one second. Mm. Okay. Yes. Okay, so, um, was in Easter, Easter week, and we get accommodation in the window. Yes. Okay, that's so nice. Okay, you don't have a cake. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Oh my god. I wear a suit and um, Kayala City, I think. Uh, um, and a lot of we um, uh, another days I spend in my house. <laughs> I think. I I I just I just uh out one day. Which animals did you did you see in the zoo? Oh, many animals. Um, elephant, giraffe, um, hippo. Uh, oh. Penguins, penguins. Oh. Yes, um, a snakes. Snakes. Mm -hmm. uh, the zoo have uh, have um a snake area, a snake and crocodile and everything like that. But I I I don't like it anything. <laughs> and I just pass uh without my 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 view. I just so um uh, I just look and to a other side. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Well new. <laughs> uh okay. On my last vacations, so I only have vacations once on uh once on a year, but sometimes um I take a for example a weekend, and the last the last a uh, time that I have a long weekend, I went with a friend to a beach here in. Sonsonate, it, it is, um, I don't know how do you say that, but it's an area, it's an area protegida at the moment. Los Cobanos. It's near to Los Cobanos, it's another beach. It, this beach is like a paradise. I can I can't tell that because- Before Los Cobanos, right? Yeah, it's near from Los Cobanos. It's, it's Los Almendros. I really love that beach. You don't have any hotel there. You don't have any changarro near, but it's a uh, protected area. Thank you, teacher. But it's beautiful. I really recommend if you really want to enjoy the gold um, sand and... Great. And the, the color of the water, it's very clear. And there is another area in the uh, Almendros Beach where you can uh, practice snorkel and you can see under the water different um, fishes, col colorful fishes. They are very beautiful. 
and the beach is very calm. And the waves are calm, and you can walk in the in the beach. It's very very beautiful. I recommend. It. That's my my last weekend. Okay. Uh, my, my last uh, vacation, uh, it was uh, something like uh, Alida. Uh, I, I went to the beach with some friends to San Diego uh, Beach. Uh, it, it is a, 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 a good beach, right? We, we rent a, a ranch on the beach. Um, it is a beautiful. It's a beautiful. We can we can talk with, with your friends. Uh, most if the if you don't if you si no tienes mucho tiempo si tienes mucho tiempo no verlos I don't know <laughs> what you say. Uh, if, if you uh, if you have a lot of time without seeing them without seeing okay we are seeing the the my friends right okay yeah okay. And you can you can pass a a good moment with with the the near with the, the closer people. Okay. Okay. You enjoyed a good good time with them. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. You can enjoy in the beach. You can see the the sunshine. That's that's and, really good. That's really good. And have good <laughs> conversations. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And I don't know. Thirteen or fourteen competition. Marathon here in El Salvador Marathon. and in Guatemala too. Oh my gosh! You are international. <laughs> no, it's it's only for healthy and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. The and in the uh, May first, uh, the work day, we run it in the Antigua Guatemala. I have the question. Uh huh. They run uh -huh. it on feel pain. Yes, all the time I think. <laughs> but, I was runner. Yes, they oh, have a years ago. Um, <laughs> The hickness, um, the foot, the feet, excuse me, the feet. But in your case, Jorge, did you feel pain in any part of your body and in the marathon or in the competitions? Mm, no, not really. The Maybe do because it. I am I am old. <laughs> do, uh, do it. You don't my have body, calambres. My body feels so, in so many how, ways pain. How would you say calambres in English? Yeah. <laughs> Carlita, ahora está riendo. A <laughs> lolo. Because I feel calambres. <laughs> I, when I sit. I remember. I remember. Uh, in. A competition in I don't know I think that uh, is cramping. more or less a uh, five Cramp years or ago. I feel Cramp. cramping. Cramping. Yeah. Uh, uh five years ago I run uh twenty five kilometers. I ran. Run. I, I ran for for a competition for twenty five kilometers and uh -huh. When uh, in the twenty or twenty-two kilometers, I uh, uh, have scrum. Uh -huh. Yeah, scrum. I had cramp. Cramp mm -hmm. in the two legs. Oh my gosh! Yes. And then you stop. Yeah. And 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 I received the assistance for the, the ambulance. The hydration. Yes. <laughs> yes. I I remember the, the the cramps is so painful. 
I had one in the mist. Fog. Uh, there was a oh, lot of fog, fog. Uh -huh. fog over over the over the lake. Uh, it was very strange. Uh, it was very hot, but um, living that in a part, it is beautiful. Especially uh, there was the blood moon. I I I think that is its name when the moon turns red. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was a good experience. Yes. Uh, okay. Niebla, mist, and you can say fog too. Niebla, mm -hmm. yeah, mist and fog. <laughs> okay. okay. The next question. Mm, what did you do for your birthday? Your last birthday. Um, in my case, mm -hmm. I the things that I did uh, was just um work, I think. Um, but in the night, I I passed past time with my family. They made me a a little dinner. They. Drink, drink. Um, what is the past of drink? Broke. Broke. They brought me a cake, a personalized cake. It has my name and some pictures. Uh, it was cool. It's very good. In my case, I actually, when I went to the beach, it, it, it was for my, my birthday in April. So it was very good. We we made a, a barbecue. Uh, my friends, uh, we eat a uh, partieron pastel t shirt. Uh, we cut a cake. We, uh, okay, we cut a cake. And that's, that's, that's really cool. Really cool. In my case, my last birthday, I I was in, I was invited to another uh, party birthday because uh, I have an I have a a friend who who birth I don't know who who, <laughs> who was having birthday yeah yeah at this at the same day yes in the same day. Yeah, in the same day, and she invited me at uh for a party breakfast. Yeah, it was a breakfast, and after that, <laughs> I went with my family to eat seafood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Only that. Right. Okay, in my in my case, uh, my last birthday, I remember in the morning. Uh, it, it was my day off. Uh, and in the morning, I received um, a gift. Sorry, uh, to me, teacher. Yes. Uh, Nelly is asking you to add it to this room, please. She felt she she logged out. I I think. Sure, no, but I think that she is already there. Okay. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so she's there. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, Jonathan, sorry, continue. Okay, no problem. I take to continue. Uh, I received a gift from my sister and my mom and take a, a special a special breakfast. And in the middle of the day, I remember I went to the Plaza Volcan with my with my girlfriend. I remember uh, my girlfriend invited me uh, and bought uh if we bought uh a, a, a special a special plate I remember it was a very delicious and at night I went to the beach with my friends and it was amazing too because I spent time with with him and I remember play uh, uno I don't know if have you ever played it's an amazing and maybe you 
you get angry or uh, it, you can spend time with those type of, of game. So it was, I remember my birthday and it was very amazing. Okay. In my case, in my case uh, in my late birthdays, okay. we stayed at ranch in San Diego Beach. We stayed for two days. We enjoyed the sun on Enjoy the beach. It. Luckily for last night, was clean. So we heard, we, we were able to see the beautiful bridge moon. It's okay. amazing. Okay. Then we enjoyed it, the uh, movie with the kids off, right after the dinner. Okay. Finally, we go to bed. We, we went to bed. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Nelly? In my case, I celebrate with my dad. And at that moment, I stayed in New York. Mm -hmm. And we went together um, for dinner. And in the morning, he gave me a cake, an ice cream cake. And um, ice cream chocolate cake. Okay. <laughs> and, and it was very delicious. And um, the whole day we we went to walk for the street, uh, for the city, and and the mall too. Okay. And I don't remember <laughs> what else, but I celebrated with my dad. I celebrated, okay. Yes. All right. Okay, guys, continue. To be alone? Yes. Soy bien uh, apartada. Okay, but in English. Yes. I love. Uh, sí, soy bien rara. <laughs> Me da, me da mucha pena ser social. Ok, try to say in English. Yes. Mm, I like to feel be alone, maybe. Uh, I, yes. I don't like to, uh, to, I don't like to uh, talk with other people, with other uh, persons or co-workers. Um. Quizás este, celebrate barbacoa con my family. Ah, okay. You make a barbecue with your family. Barbecue, you yeah. made. Okay. Sí. Very, very it's good. Action. Very good. Okay. Something mm -hmm. more say or told us. What did you do for your last birthday? Somebody. Yes. Alguien que quiera participar. Okay. Yes, in my case, uh, in my case, uh, uh, I went up to eat uh, with my family. With my celebrate. family. Ah, you like to celebrate with your family. Yeah. That's a good action. Yeah. Okay. Eat, 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 eat. eat. Comer, 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 comer. Oh, yeah. we ate <laughs> and ate too much. You like to eat a lot. Okay. Yeah. Le gusta? No, le gustó. You like, you like? I like. Eat too much. A lot. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay. But is with, with you um, share these moments with your family is um, with the food, the best gift to you uh, in your birthday because they will come in 
remembers. Recuerdos. Ellos se vuelven recuerdos. Yeah. And um, memories. They, yeah. they could be in memories. They convert or they transform in memories. Esperate, esperate. Uh, Lo que tenga, um, no va a tirar. <laughs> si la escuchamos ya, Wendy. Oh, sorry. En inglés. Y Wendy es padre. No, Lo siento. Wendy is dangerous. ¿Cómo en inglés. ¿Cómo se dice? Yeah. ¿Cómo se dice? Wendy. Okay, I understand because you are alone. <laughs> Okay. Cereal well, uh, with meal, but without sugar. Ah, uh, yeah, without sugar. Oh, yeah. But, but uh, I put sugar in the meal. I put the meal first. The meal first. Cereal. Uh, yes. uh, okay. And what about you, teacher? We have here a. Um... <laughs> Dilemma, how do you say <laughs> dilemma in English? Uh, I'm not sure. Let me just double check, okay? But yes, Maybe. tell me. But Maybe. but while you while you while you verify which the the the, the right um word? Yes. Uh, what is first for you? The cereal or the milk? Mm, all right. So you say dilemma, all right? Dilemma. Yeah, yeah the same. It's the same dilemma. Ah, okay. Dilemma. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, in my case, I think that it, the, the first thing that I add is the uh -huh. milk. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you? Okay. Um, the, the cereal first and then the milk. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I try, I try like you, first the milk and then the cereal, but I don't know. <laughs> it's I the think order, it depends. The order doesn't. Um, <laughs> no altera el producto. <laughs> yes. The, uh, that's, yeah. Okay. That's I not think this. It depends, teacher. It depends <laughs> of the. For example, if you prepare the the meal in your cup, mm -hmm. uh, of course you have the the the, the cereal. But if you ah, okay. you have, if you prepare the cereal in a bowl. First, you are the cereal, and after the milk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you are a, a cold, cold meal team? Oh, oh, or hot. hot meal. Hot meal. Oh, cold. 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 Yes. yes. Really? Yeah. 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 And you? Hot. I, I, in my case, it's cold. Uh, cold. Yes, it's cold. cold. I, I feel cold. that when you use a hot milk, mm -hmm. uh, the cereal is like a watery, like a, yes. a wow. <laughs> yes, watery. <laughs> yes. I think and, that that happens when you add the, the cereal first. Yes. It, yes. it becomes like watery, right? And I don't like that. Uh -huh. That's why I add the cereal at the end. Because in that way, it's going to be like, you know, uh, crunchy. Crunchy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> okay. That's what I think. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I serve I serve my my cereal and milk in a glass, not in a. Oh my God, a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> a bowl in a glass. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 It's a different way. Okay. Yes. Continue with the next uh, question. Yes. What was the last really difficult thing you had to do? Mm. Breakfast today. <laughs> okay, oh my God, so... the breakfast. Okay. <laughs> okay. I made a uh, scrambled I scrambled e eggs. eggs with bacon. Oh my God! And, okay. Uh, and a very large cup of cup of, cup of black. Coffee black. Coffee black. Okay. Black coffee. Yes. It's very, very difficult. It's very difficult. Okay, Emerson. We understand. Okay. Yes. It was your first time. What? 
it was your first time preparing the breakfast with bacon? Uh, not really. I usually don't all you the time. Prepare, prepare it? Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Lily? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, for me? Eight. I eat it. El pasado es eight. Eight. Okay. Very, uh, very I good. I eat I ate a rice, rice and chicken. Salad. Perfect, perfect. And you, Pablo, what did you eat for your last meal? Um, First, I need to know I, is the, the lunch or the dinner? The dinner. And yeah. I, I ate a tacos. Oh my gosh. Tacos. <laughs> I like the tacos. Me too. With um, yeah. tacos I, I make uh, tacos uh, at home. And in, in this case, it's so big. <laughs> I make it. Okay. What kind of tacos do you, did you eat? Um, tacos de lengua, tacos de beef, and chicken, fish, salmon. I don't know. Mix. Mix of? Mixtos, mix. Uh, chicken and beef. And, and chicken and, and beef. Okay, okay. Did you use cheese with the tacos? Uh, no, no, no. Only a chicken and beef. Uh, and tomato. And salsa. Or... Sí. Uh -huh. oh, okay, salsa. Okay. Uh, uh, did you uh, prepare uh, tacos de um, what is the correct name? Um, uh, cochinita pibil. No, no. Uh, with the, some sauce to to put in. Um, oh, it's birria taco. Ah, uh, uh, birria tacos. The highest, the highest uh, volcano or hills. Uh, I don't remember uh, how to say exactly, but it's very difficult. I remember I walk around uh, six hours. It was around eight kilometers. It was mm -hmm. very difficult for me because it was my first experience, and I've never in my life walked. Uh, for a long time. Where do you live? Jato? I live in Olocuilta. Oh. Uh, because I love hiking too. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's it's so cool. <laughs> yes, and I hike it. I hike it, I think. I hike it. Uh, I hike? I hike. I hike Chaparastique Volcano in San Miguel. And what was your experience? I love it. I love it. And I want to do again. But I don't have friends that um can we can can go with me. <laughs> now in my case I feel I feel regret. <laughs> yeah, but that was, was your first your that yes. was your first time. Yes, my first experience. In yeah. That. If you continue to do it, you will enjoy it because I think it yes. is beautiful. Yes, mm -hmm. my my friend told me that that I have to to hide one mountain for month mm -hmm. and yeah. to run run every weekend, something like that. But I, in my case, I, I don't like to do exercise. <laughs> I prefer you playing video games. To, you need to try with a Santana volcano. Maybe because it's San Vicente, the weather, because it's very hot, it doesn't help uh, do yes, anything it, it because it's weather. Yeah, it's very hard. 
But if and you go to Santana, Volcano Santana, it is beautiful because the weather is different. It's, ah, yes. very, it's very, yeah. very cold, yes. I went to the other, uh, it's a cerro too. It's uh, El Aguila. It is beautiful, but the weather there is so cold. 10, uh, 10 grays. Yeah, 10 grays. It was very cold. And it's very beautiful. I, I like to do that too. I really like to walk and I really go to the beach. Yeah. Yes, in my case, yes, I love walks on the beach or but in a mountain or, or hill. It's very difficult and it's different because you need to to carry carry out your your water your things and 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 also the the weather is affect to you mm -hmm. okay what was the last really difficult thing you have to do okay in my case i think okay no 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 next no no worry next because we have to continue <laughs> okay okay Okay, tell me about where you live uh, as a child. Well, in my, in my case, uh, I live here uh, all my life in, in, in San I Salvador. Have lived. I have lived. I have lived uh, all my life in San Salvador. San Salvador yeah. is. <laughs> yeah. What about you? In my case, I have lived in Santa Rosa de Lima City all, all my life too. Uh, for me, I have lived in Santa Ana all my life, too. <laughs> well, in my case, uh, I I lived for... So I, I born in San Suntepeque, Cabañas. So I lived there at least at five, um, five years. Mm, I don't remember at all. A, a lot from uh, those years, but then we moved to San Salvador and we have to go. Okay, guys, so we're going to take the listenings. Okay, so let's wait for the other ones to join, but I will send up the link. Let me see, where is it? Okay, there you go. We are going to take the first listening. And let me see, listening 26. Yes. Teacher, was so nice the speaking time and you. I know you were having fun. I know, Tony. Yes. <laughs> okay, but okay. So right now we need to take the listening quiz. Okay. <laughs> so I know okay. that you were really enjoying. Okay. So let's take the quiz. Let me send it. There you go. And the passcode is listening. Okay. Let me see. Where sure. How do you say tertulia in English in this case? Tertulia. Mm. Ah, bueno, la tertulia. <laughs> Only in the way that you know in English. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would say just the speaking time, but let I'm me see. speaking, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tertulia. The deep translator said talk show or ter tool, ter talk tool show, tool. right? Mm -hmm. talk show. Mm -hmm. And Tertulia. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> tertulia. <laughs> I think that you can say also, you can say it get together or the social gathering. 
right? Or <laughs> get together. But I think that okay. is better. Oh, together. Yeah. Oh, okay. Together. How to get together. Okay. okay. So let's see. Let's take uh, that quiz. Let me see if it is the one that starts with uh, Rocky, I think. Yes. Okay, guys. I'm going to play it uh, three times. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, Rocky, you've been sitting around all night. Get out and dance with someone like that woman over there. No way. She looks like the intellectual type. Oh, come on, man. What kind of woman do you like? I want a woman who's affectionate and fulfills my every need. Oh. And that woman over there is just not the right type. Hey, where have you been? Times are changing, and you're never going to find a woman who will shine your shoes and pick up after you all the time. Wake up. Oh, really? I meet a lot of women like that, but not at this party. No. Oh. I also prefer a woman who will stay home, cook, clean, and watch the kids. Okay, but what are your household responsibilities once you get home from work? Hmm. Eat, watch TV, and throw out the garbage. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can't believe I'm hearing this. In fact, you're never going to get married. I recently read a news report that said 40% of women don't think their husbands do their share around the house, and you seem to be that type. Well, that's the way I am. But what's your idea of the perfect woman? Well, I like a woman who's outgoing, caring, and non-judgmental about people's right. differences. And it bothers me when people think that they're the center of the universe, like someone I know. Well, that's nice for you, but that doesn't change my point of view. I guess I'll have to go home to a TV dinner and my dog, Rusty. Hey, and if I stick around with you, this is going to be a long, lonely night. Say hello to Rusty for me. Okay. Again. Hey, Rocky, you've been sitting around all night. Get out and dance with someone like that woman over there. No way. She looks like the intellectual type. Oh, come on, man. What kind of woman do you like? I want a woman who's affectionate and fulfills my every need. Oh. And that woman over there is just not the right mm. type. Hey, where have you been? Times are changing, and you're never going to find a woman who will shine your shoes and pick up after you all the time. Wake up! Oh, really? I meet a lot of women like that, but not at this party. No. Oh. I also prefer a woman who will stay home, cook, clean, and watch the kids. Okay, but what are your household responsibilities once you get home from work? Hmm. Eat, watch TV, and throw out the garbage. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can't believe I'm hearing this. In fact... You're never going to get married. I recently read a news report that said 40% of women don't think their husbands do their share around the house, and you seem to be that type. Well, that's the way I am. But what's your idea of the perfect woman? Well, I like a woman who's outgoing, caring, and non-judgmental about people's right. differences. And it bothers me when people think that they're the center of the universe, like someone I know. Well, that's nice for you, but that doesn't change my point of view. I guess I'll have to go home to a TV dinner and my dog, Rusty. Hey, and if I stick around with you, this is going to be a long, lonely night. Say hello to Rusty for me. Okay, the last time. Hey, Rocky, you've been sitting around all night. Get out and dance with someone like that woman over there. No way. She looks like the intellectual type. Oh, come on, man. What kind of woman do you like? I want a woman who's affectionate and fulfills my every need. Oh. And that woman over there is just not the right type. Hey, where have you been? Times are changing, and you're never going to find a woman who will shine your shoes and pick up after you all the time. Wake up. Oh, really? I meet a lot of women like that, but not at this party. No. Oh. I also prefer a woman who will stay home, cook, clean, and watch the kids. Okay, but what are your household responsibilities once you get home from work? Hmm. Eat, watch TV, and throw out the garbage. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can't believe I'm hearing this. In fact, you're never going to get married. I recently read a news report that said 40% of women don't think their husbands do their share around the house, and you seem to be that type. Well, that's the way I am. But what's your idea of the perfect woman? Well, I like a woman who's outgoing, caring, and non-judgmental about people's right. differences. And it bothers me when people think that they're the center of the universe, like someone I know. Well, that's nice for you, but that doesn't change my point of view. I guess I'll have to go home to a TV dinner and my dog, Rusty. Hey, and if I stick around with you, this is going to be a long, lonely night. Say hello to Rusty for me. Okay. 
All right. Uh, so let's see, submit your answers. Let me check the scores. <laughs> I probably I need one more time. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got most of you, okay? Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Let me see. Okay. Mm, not only you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Well, um, all right. So guys, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here, but I really appreciate that you connected today. Okay, so we hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good night, rest, and well, see you tomorrow, guys. Okay, take care. Okay, see you yeah? tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night, good night guys. Good Bye night. Teachers. Bye, teachers. Bye, teachers. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night